good Monday morning, everyone. I am getting ready. Well, I'm already ready for work. I'm just making my coffee right now. And tomorrow is my last day at this place. So I gave my two week notice the day after I found out I had the job, right? And my office that I'm leaving is going to be closed the week of July 4th, right? Completely closed, without pay. We would have had to use our vacation time or just not get paid for it. So it worked out in my favor that it just happened to be that way. And in addition to my vacation time that I just have, that I have left, I am only going to work today and tomorrow and then I'll use the rest of the time for my vacation so I'm basically gonna have like a week and a half off with pay and then I start my new job July 9th. I woke up pretty late this morning because I stayed up late my own fault I'm like I don't care I'll get there late whatever but me being the way I am like no let me get up and get there on time for these last two days and we'll see, you know, maybe I'll come home early today if he gets in one of those moods to where he's like, you don't want to be here, I don't want to want you here, here's a check. Okay, whatever. And it's funny because when I gave notice, I felt like, isn't there an episode on The Office where somebody got fired or something where they were leaving out saying, and I hate you, and I hate you, and you, and I'm like, that's what I should do. Not really, but yeah. And I also thought about not giving a notice, just leaving. But of course, the way I am, I'm like, no, I can't do that. But I felt like it, but I can't do that, you guys. All right, so let's get this day over with. And one more day tomorrow, and then I'm free. Hey, everyone. So I'm at home. And guess what? I have the rest of the week off. So I get to work and I go to log in and it said contact your administrator. Now, mind you, sometimes when I type in too fast, it has said that. So I did it again. I'm like, okay, well maybe I'm typing it in too fast, you know, accidentally hit a different key. So I typed in my password again, same thing. And this, this has actually happened to me before, so it was actually no big deal. But the third time I took my time and like, did it really, really slow. And then I looked at the other girl, I'm like, I think he locked me out of the programs. And sure enough, I could not log in. So she logged in for me so that I was able to work today. The boss called the office and he was like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, what do you mean what am I doing here? Dude, I work here for two more weeks, right? And then he basically said, oh, there was a misunderstanding. I thought you were leaving sooner. What part of I'm giving my two weeks says I'm leaving sooner? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so he was paranoid because he kept calling the office and told me, okay, you know the booklet where you have the passwords, make sure you keep leave that. What do I need that for? Okay, what do I need that for actually? Um, I'm not gonna go in and do anything. I'm not like that. But the reason why he probably did it is because the girl that we let go at the other job, the one who stole, the one who was calling in two, two to three days a week, well, before she left, I guess she had a feeling she was about to be um, fired, so she deleted a bunch of appointments, and I guess she thought it was going to cause chaos, and I wish I can, I mean, I could have, but I'm not petty like this, but I wanted to call her and be like, you didn't do anything because we caught everything you did, and we fixed it. There were a few patients that walked in that were not on a schedule, but we just made it work, so I guess she was thinking it was going to cause chaos chaos so maybe it was something like that but I have never ever given him a reason to think I'm untrustworthy and he's left me alone in the office I mean there's not nothing to steal in the dental office or whatever but I know and there's rarely any cash I'm just saying it right there there's rarely any cash in a dental office but I've been in the office to where a patient had paid the day before he didn't come pick up the money and there was like literally a thousand to maybe three thousand dollars sitting there and 
I never touch it. I don't, yeah, whatever. So I've never given him a reason to not trust me. So that, and then he called back again later on and told the other girl, well, make sure she leaves her keys and whatever. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, and then he called and said, you know, let's just let today be your last day and, you know, I'll come give you your check. You know what, whatever, dude, give me a vacation, a paid vacation. So I called my other job and I didn't tell him exactly what was going on. But instead of starting July 9th, I am going to start July 3rd. <laughs> yeah, the day before, um, I was about to say Halloween, the day before the 4th of July. So I'll work one day, which is a Tuesday. Um, Monday, I have an actual doctor's appointment on Monday, so I'm not starting on Monday. So I'll start on Tuesday, then have the 4th off, then which is Wednesday, and then go back on Thursday and I'm off on Fridays. So yeah, you guys, I got like a free vacation just to rest and do whatever. So now the girls and I are just about to go, I call it roaming the streets because I really don't have a destination. I just don't want to be in house. So let's go. So we're at the Folsom Outlets. It's just us ladies and <laughs> we are just looking. Look at Savannah's unicorn um, thing. Look, Take, put one on with me then. I'll put one on with you. There's one right here, and I'll put it on, and then we'll take a picture. Yes. Here, put it on my head. Get these your glasses off. Okay. Put your glasses on your shirt. And I'll put this one on. It's backwards. Wait. Is mine backwards? No. I don't know. I don't know. if Is there a backwards on yeah. here? Does that hurt your head? No, it doesn't. But okay. I feel like it's off to the side, and we're going to take pictures. <laughs> so we're in the candy store, and look at all of this. No one, I don't need none of this behind the thing. Is that toffee? Maybe, maybe. One, one second though. And then peanut butter. Look how big the peanut butter cups are. So I got a white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cup. I know I didn't need it. Savannah got a candy apple. What kind is that, Savannah? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. And Cheyenne got like macadamia nut toffee. I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but yeah. And it's really empty here today. Look how empty it is. Nice it's just us. Or is that? Yes, yes. very nice picture. I posted a lot on my story today. We are literally like the only ones over here. There's a, la a lavender nail spa. I don't think it's the same one as the one we go to. But see, look, it's so empty. If this was Saturday, this would be crazy full of people. But nope, not today. Look at the fountain. And of course, Savannah's gonna take a picture by it, or take a picture of it. What'd you say? I was gonna bring my pennies. You should have brought your pennies? Because yeah. there's you a bunch of pennies in here. I don't know. No. So we're leaving, and I still have not put my tags on the car, as you guys can see right here. So I didn't get a whole lot, but I got this from Home Goods. It's just another blanket for my bed and it's really pretty because i'm gonna have that for my bed even though i'm not into ray dunn anymore i got two of these that says ramen because i just had to and this was actually six bucks and i got this movie from walmart with taraji p henson i like anything that she's in so the previews looked like it was pretty good so we are actually about to watch this movie. savannah and i are at makuni's i don't know if you guys can hear us or hear me but this is our first time here but not our first time eating sushi so look at it, it looks so good <laughs> you ready to eat savannah and i decided to um do a little bit of door dashing today and the first place we went to we seen like tv cameras behind the counter where the food was and we're like they're filming in here and then i looked and i seen a lady and i'm like well i don't recognize that one but maybe she's with the um the no, camera I guy seen, i seen who because i seen the he had a microphone in his pocket and it had the name on it from the the newscast name on it yeah so we were getting the food and then i'm i just happened to tell savannah i'm like well if i seen tina makua i would go up to her and say hi and savannah's like, she is there she's sitting alone at the table and i turned and looked and she was the way her hair was i just couldn't tell it was her so she started talking to i guess that other lady with the long mm -hmm. hair and then she turned her face to the side i'm like that's tina bakua those of you that don't know tina bakua she is one of the 
um, people on Good Day Sacramento, which is our news station, one of our news station on channel 31. And I watch them every morning and she, she actually used to be on a radio station years ago when I listened to secular music and I remember her from back then so anyway the point is we met her we took a picture with her and Savannah's gonna show you did it focus yeah so anyway yes we met her and I it was a total blog fail because I don't know if she would have agreed to be in a vlog if I asked her I don't know but I didn't even think about pulling out my camera but yes we met Tina McCool and I'm so excited and we were all excited we can't believe we met her we were just smiling all big. hello everyone it is Saturday afternoon like very late this is the first time I'm picking up the camera because I don't know I have no excuse and let me tell you guys something so see my little do-rag on my head right so this is what I do on the weekends when I'm home or if I'm gonna just run somewhere really quick and not get out the car I have a pink one I have a brown one I have a green one I have a white one I have the black one right so I needed to go to the ATM Savannah came with me and she's not here actually I'm the only one here because Savannah went to spend a night at Evie's house and Cheyenne is at work and Tariq is at work so I will be alone for a while so I drive up to the teller well first of all okay I'm dressed right but I'm not totally fit for going out everywhere because I have this on and I'm thinking well I'm not gonna get out my car right so I didn't even wear any shoes but I have bright yellow socks on and when I say bright yellow I mean bright yellow let me show you guys anyway drive up to the teller put my card in and all of a sudden along comes a daddy long leg spider and I'm usually not afraid of daddy long legs. I can handle those. But this daddy long leg body was huge. It was fat. And I'm freaking out and screaming. Savannah screaming. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? So I managed to press exit or cancel. And then I grabbed my card. And I'm like, crap. What do I do now? I'm going to have to get out in public looking like this. <laughs> and then with no shoes, right? Because I have them bright yellow socks. So I drive around and there's someone in there and I'm waiting. I'm like, okay, hopefully she gets done really quick and then she, you know, she can go. So I'm like, let me just go in, whatever. There's only one person because I didn't want someone else to drive up. The bank had already closed and I'm like, I don't want no, no one else to drive up and take my place. So... I go in and I'm waiting and she was taking forever and I look and Savannah's recording me and she's cracking up laughing and then all of a sudden here comes another car and I'm like crap of course the one time where I look a hot mess and here comes all these people um, not a lot of people just one car so I hurry up and grab my cash when the lady got done and I left but anyway yes got in the car and Savannah said mm, mm, mm. ghetto ness at its finest the little girl called me ghetto well I do kind of look a hot one anyway like I said I'm alone and I'm about to make dinner which is just going to be something really quick I'll show you so I got this from Winco um it's funny because I'm laughing because it says family size I guarantee you Tyreek could eat this whole bag himself but it's chicken stir fry and I was thinking about putting shrimp in it. I don't know, but I'm gonna make this for dinner. So this is what it looks like frozen. I am so lazy today. It's a box meal or a bag meal for everyone tonight. And I'm watching this movie on Netflix called Anon. I guess it's supposed to stand for anonymous. So I guess it's called Anon. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty good. So it's about some lady who's trying to be anonymous and she is like killing people i guess i don't know i haven't found out if she's the true killer but i think she is so anyway um it's pretty good so it's just me i'm all alone there's no one here beside me my children have all gone okay i'm gonna stop now so this is what my dinner looks like i have it in my ray dunn ramen bowl and yeah lonely lonely dinner Party of one. So the thing about being home alone is when I am home alone and it's nighttime, I have almost every single light in the house on, almost. So it's lit up very well. And Tariq actually came home from work 
but he does DoorDash more than Savannah and I do. He does it a lot. And so um, he got off work um, earlier tonight, so he is doing that for a little bit. So yeah, I'm alone, you guys. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You guys see Savannah's lights? I think it's on some kind of timer or something. And they don't get hot at all. Um, it doesn't get hot at all, but it's on a timer. So. All right, you guys, so I am going to call it a night. Um, everyone is home now, except for Savannah, of course. So anyway, I am just going to watch TV until I fall asleep. So do me a favor, guys, before you leave, hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.